start here at the 25. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Brings up second and eight. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Brandon Copeland coming in hard that time on the blitz, and he gets him down. It's a loss of four. On second down, it's Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. To throw on third down, Rodgers. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. First and 10. They told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. I don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the Packers' 45-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now it's Newton. Flushed out right. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Call it a gain of 4 on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense? The next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? On second down, Michelle. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Third down. A shotgun snap for Newton. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert. And now it's first and goal. Now a toss left side, Michelle. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Sony Michelle taking it in. And the Pats have taken the early lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. <laughs> 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Devin McCourty on the tackle. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. spot to take a shot here second and a yard from the 34 off the bootleg Rodgers oh he's able to out muscle him here as he pulls it in 19 yards the pick up there move the chains back to back good plays have him on the move on first down out of the shotgun it's Jones and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. To Aaron Jones. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the Patriots' 44-yard line. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. It's third down and six. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And Adams has it. Good play. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. First and ten at the 20. Now a first down carry by Jones. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Taken down at the 19-yard line. Throwing now is Rodgers. Robert Tanyan was the one he was looking for, and it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's Rodgers on third down. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. It's a gain of five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before. Going with their tight end on fourth. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. It's a four-yard pickup, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be third down toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Mason so on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 13-year man puts it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Boy, they're down only one score. Still first half. But they're going to line up for the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. 
Now left side on the swing pass. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On the left side, a catch by White. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the 28, it's second and five. From the gun, here's Newton. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Patriots. Throwing again is Newton. Open man is Myers. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. That catch good for only a couple. To throw again on second down. Newton. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And three at the 15-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he will have a first down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's Rodgers to throw. Looking deep for Adams. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. Rodgers pass. Intercepted by the Patriots. They'll take over first and 10 at the 35-yard line. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. and Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Takes this about five yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Patriots take over first and 10. At their the Pats at the line, ready to go. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone, costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come over with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again, Newton. It's grabbed over the middle by White. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Second down pass play got them eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Out of the gun, Newton. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. 
And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down throw for Newton. And that's caught by his tight end, Dalton Keene. Complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. In second and inches. To the air again, Newton. Dancing to his left. He'll run it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Operating from the gun. Newton. And that one completes to Keene, the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. New England. Steps away to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Slant route, caught by Edelman. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball, but when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And the Patriots will get a new set of downs. On first and 10, Newton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. On second and ten, Newton. And that'll be caught by the tight end, Keene. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. From the gun, Newton. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Quite have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Tackle made by Adrian Phillips. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. Give him 18 yards on that one. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Back now at Lambeau. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Looking deep for Adams, and he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Devontae Adams, 39 yards, and the Packers have cut it back within a score. And he puts it through there within three. It's 13 to 10. For Patriots, 13. Packers, 10. Mason Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. 
And this carries into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. yard gain on the play. That one goes for 24 yards. So one play and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll run it. This is Michelle. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Rolling to his right. He'll try and run it. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. No game on the play. They'll try the air now with Newton at the 40-yard line. Well, he's got it over the middle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 19. A gain there of 21 yards. And the Patriot first down. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Gain of five. Brings up second and five. And it's Michelle once again. And they corral him just a couple yards shy Michelle of the end zone. Ball carrier. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Leads to second and goal at the two-yard line. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal now as they look for that final dagger. And they will run it with Michelle. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run it in, Michelle. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. Here we go, a big play in a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. They snap it to Newton. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. It would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Newton escaping the pressure right to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. 23-yard line. 
About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's got Adams on the hookup. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jason McCourty.